But I'm Jeff Gianola. Jennifer is off this afternoon. A man in the hospital injured in a fire at a problem house. And tonight we want to know, will the city take action to remove people living in the RVs and sheds on the property? They've been complaining. Is the city least, uh, listening to them? Our Lisa Balick, live in that neighborhood in northeast Portland, digging deeper. What did you find out, Lisa? Well, Jeff, it is against city law to live in RVs or sheds on a property like over there, but the city tells me they can't do anything for now. In fact, not for several weeks, even though there's no electricity or running water there anymore. I was awakened to screams of the house is on fire, the house is on fire. Um, I called 911. That wasn't the first one. Neighbors tell me they've complained to the city for months about what's gone on here. There's anywhere between 6 to 15 people crashing there any night. There's people living in RVs. There's people living in garages. There's people living in sheds. There's people, there's cars coming and going all the time, three, four minute stopovers. There's been people stopping by and threatening people on the property. When I called the mayor's office, they told me these complaints are handled by the Bureau of Development Services. When I contacted that bureau, I was first told by staff they had no complaints about the property. I then called the property complaint hotline Hi. and handed my phone to the neighbor. Um, I'd like to file a complaint about what I think is probably um, illegal occupancy in the property adjoining mine. I found out from BDS that it is against city code to have multiple people living in RVs and sheds on the property according to section 29 of the city code. Okay, so you already have opening open cases, one for the car repair that's going on in the street out in front of the house, one for illegal occupancy that was delivered to the landlord this December. When I talked with city code enforcement this afternoon, they told me it could take up to two months before people living on the property could be removed due to the legal process needed to evict them. Hopefully a fire will help change what's been going on here. Maybe it becomes a little more obvious that it's not okay. Now the city, the city tells me it's a process to remove people from private property, a code hearing, a court order, a search warrant that could all take months. Now I asked what could make it quicker. They said more code officers and also a change in the legal process. And I have to tell you, while we've been out here for the past couple of hours, we have seen several cars pull up, go onto the property, people hop back in and take off. So there's still a lot of activity going on in that property, activity that probably should not be going on there. Live in Northeast Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. And we're going to stay on top of this and continue to follow it. Lisa, thank you.